and the way that Valeria publicly attacked me, both of them really, really took a toll on my mental health in front of millions of people. What, what and, we did to you? You know, oh, come on. Welcome back to part two of the Awesomeness TV's next influencer reunion. I'm Kelsey McDonald, host of ATV's Daily Report. Here's where we left off. Oh, oh no, Why are we no. going over the creepiest <laughs> part of the show? Calm down, Rail. So, Jada, I'm really sorry that I did that. You are the biggest cop right now. You're not sorry, you're just sorry that you got caught, obviously. Oh. But... Okay, okay. So let's simmer down for a second. He's gonna cry. Not now. cry and then we're gonna feel bad. Literally every single ranking, I put it in and I calculated the average. I stayed up all night. You're a psychopath. <laughs> Picking things right back up. Having now watched the show, raise of hands if you think Owen still deserved to win the show. Y'all, seriously. Uh, <laughs> my seriously. boy Julian. I'll explain why. I'll explain why. He just played the game smart. That's just, and I don't know, like he played the game smart, he played all of us. He was yeah. there to win. He was, he there, was to there to win, win, just like all of us. And he won, fair and square, in my opinion. We were like actually trying in the challenges and whatnot. Like what was the whole point if you were just gonna scam your way to the top? I take it back, I think he deserved to win. Cause no one else would have done that. Like no That's one else would have done that. That's what that I'm saying. That was dedication and he, he deserved it. I, I give it to him. He, he deserved it, cause like, who else would have done, like for real Sabrina, like who else would have done that? I don't think Coley feels the same way. I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. Coley, you think the Alliance was cheating. The Alliance was not cheating. Everyone, oh If I gosh. knew we could it have done that, it wasn't against the rules. This girl would have been rules. on her phone making the list the whole time. So Owen wasn't the only person to stir the pot. Valeria was part of one of the biggest and most dramatic arguments this season. Let's take a look. Yeah. Yeah. You see those highlights in her hair though, you see those highlights. I know, I'm like, okay, yeah, my whole head oh, is bleached. I know God. you have bleach in your hair too. She yeah. is so mad at the color of our hair. Yeah, you just want to be the third blonde one, it's okay, don't worry. I the only blonde one! That's the only thing that she has. crazy, bro. And the best part, we're actually pretty. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Your voice is so obnoxious, like I could hear from 10 miles away. I mean, I just thought that was the point. Bro, did you that hear anything? Their voices are heard. Do you hear anything? Why are you so quick to call Do you people hear ugly? Anything? Like, I just don't get it. I don't uh, hear anything. The worst part is that they yeah. all talk yeah. about each other. Okay. They're so obsessed with us. So. Wait, didn't the girl that like didn't get into her dream school call you a college dropout? Yeah. At least I'm a college. college. Like, you literally, you literally what, belong in kindergarten. Like, I don't even know what you're doing here. You wanna know what's so funny? You're older than me, yeah, I still make way more money than you. Like, I make so much way more money yeah, than you. Yeah, because you try so hard, like, I because literally could care no, less. No, because, because no, because I actually have a career. career. And career. I'm so proud of you, and I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. I, I hope you, have a I hope you kill it in life. Honey, I make more money than you, like, hello. Valeria, Gabby, and Sabrina. Okay, where did this tension stem from? And Gabby, what shade have they been throwing behind <laughs> each other's backs? Okay, wait, I know I know where this started. The well, for my part, because of what I said. Okay, so this was not shown on camera, but a day before this, Gabby had said something about my past relationship that really hurt me like inside and I was kind of holding a grudge against her. So I saw this moment to just go off on her. The only tension I had during this was when Gabby made a comment about me being a college dropout, which now that I think about, like, yeah, I am a college dropout, so like, I don't really care. Watching it back, everything I said just makes me cringe. But I was very mad in the moment, so a lot of things came out that shouldn't have been said. When you brought up the money situation, that was completely unnecessary, but okay, you, you brought it up, whatever, that's fine. No, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. The money thing, the reason I said this is because the whole show, we all know um, I was the baby of the house, and Gabby would keep on saying, oh, you're just like, go back to your mom, like, you belong in kindergarten. So I was like, you know what? Like, yes, I might be in kindergarten, but I work harder than you, and I make more money than you, and now now that I look back, I do sound like a child. So Gabby, maybe you were right, I'll see you. And you keep on trying to defend yourself right now and you keep on trying to say like, yeah, I apologize for what I did. But you keep on throwing the you, the you word, the you word, like Gabby, you, like you. So it's like, you're not trying to really defend your argument. You just keep on blaming me for things, which I don't think that should be the case if you're trying to defend yourself. Because I, I don't remember that. I blame you. 
I think what I said was super childish, but I'm just saying the reason to why I was so heated, and that is the reason. But what I said has nothing to do with you. That what came out of my mouth was completely childish, and I did apologize. It's not your fault. I'm just saying why I was so mad. No, I'm saying that you were blaming me right now and when you at were the trying time, to do, no, not at the time. Right now, right now when you were just trying to defend no, your I'm argument. No, I'm not blaming. I'm not. Okay, I'm not yeah. blaming you right now. Everything I said was was said. Like no take backs. I learned from what I said. Every single one of us on this Zoom call right now, every single one of us said things we didn't mean and that shouldn't have been said throughout the show. So this fight led to one member threatening to leave Project 305. Take a look. Honestly, Valeria, you know how you keep on saying that you're the manager of the house and how you want to control all this. I don't want to be in your. House anyway. So I have to be my life. I don't literally want to be out of your life. You're so Go be the actress you want to be. Bye. I don't want you in my house anyways, girl. We don't need you. Honestly, all the things that Valeria said were so uncalled for. I'm just happy that me and Jada could do our own thing. Like, we really don't care what people have to say about us. Well, I want to leave this house. Like, everyone's really so mean. And I don't get it. Like, Gabby, if you plan on leaving Project 305, please step forward and collect your dirty laundry. Honestly, I didn't like the way that I was being treated. So I think it's best if we part ways and we follow our dreams separately. I know I'm going to see them at the top because I will get there too. But I think this is definitely the best decision for me and for the rest of the group. Gabby, had you thought about leaving Project 305 previously or was this decision based solely on this um, fight? To be honest, I had already been thinking about leaving Project 305 as a whole because like Valeria said, I do want to be an actress and I do want to pursue that. And that is something that I've wanted to do since I was very young. Felt like this whole social media, TikTok and everything wasn't really my vibe. But I was still trying to test the waters and whatever happened in that house and in that show was kind of like the cherry on top. And that's when I told myself that like, look, like I just don't belong in this world. Well, one person from Valeria's inner circle immediately sought to make things right. Take a look. Sabrina texts me. I'm sorry for what Valeria said. She took it too far. I promise I had nothing to do with it. I love you so much and always will. I don't know why she apologized to you because maybe she's a way bigger person than you are. We are two different people. What's really Sabrina does? Because you try so hard to be her, so I don't know the difference between you and Sabrina. Everyone mistakes you and Sabrina, so I don't know. I don't think there's two different yeah, people. Yeah, because we're both You want to be cute. her so badly. We're both hella cute. Like, what? Hella cute. You have done too long. Bye, boo. <laughs> <laughs> I want to point out that Valeria ended up apologizing to Gabby as well, but Sabrina, do you think that Valeria took things too far with Gabby during the big fight? Yeah, for sure. When she did that, like, even though we were so close and, like, we would do everything together. I knew it was too far. And at the time, I was actually not even like outside. I saw I saw Gabby, I saw how upset she was. And me and Gabby have been friends for a while. I really cared about Gabby and I cared about her at the time. I still care about her now. So I apologize on her behalf because I saw, I, it was just, it was too far. Well, it was BFFs Valeria and Sabrina all season long until a long time secret threatened to tear them apart. Valeria, when did you learn that your boyfriend and fellow founder of Project 305 had been with Sabrina? Um, <laughs> okay, so basically, um, after me and my ex-boyfriend broke up, um, one day I get a call from an anonymous number and they basically tell me that my so-called best friend had been keeping this really, really big secret from me um, ever since we've known each other. Yeah, I literally, like my whole, like my whole world crashed, like I could not believe what I was hearing. Um, and apparently the whole cast knew, which I was not aware of. And it was just a very big, like, I just felt so, so betrayed. Sabrina, why didn't you tell Valeria earlier in your friendship? Um, there's just so many little factors to this. <laughs> First of all, I didn't tell the whole cast. I told Gabby. She's known since it happened, actually, like, for a minute. She's, But at some point, you know, like, it had happened so long ago. I didn't know Valeria when it happened. They weren't together when it happened that I was like, this isn't even worth it. Like he is not worth breaking me and Valeria's friendship up. And I knew it would, cause I knew Valeria so well. 
so I just didn't tell her. As much as I want to dive more into that, make sure you are subscribed to Awesomeness because we have an episode coming where Sabrina and Valeria are going to be diving into your most asked questions and spilling tea on things that happen behind the scenes. Okay, so this season, another scandal rocked Sabrina's world, sparked by this kiss. Take a look. Oh God, here we go. <laughs> I just saw tongue. Am I dreaming right now? <laughs> Are we good then? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Miss. Sabrina, let's clear the air. Were you in a relationship when you and Julian started getting close? No, I wasn't. Um, I've addressed it like six times and you know, the twins continued to insist. But the way that they attacked me throughout this multiple times, even though I addressed it so many times, and the way that Valeria publicly attacked me, both of them really, really took a toll on my mental health. You know, doing this in front of millions of people. What what we did to you? Girl, come I'm on. I'm talking about the twins right now. You said both of them. Like, my life is on social media. That's why I, I, I answered a fan's question. What happened between you and Serena? I just said the truth. Like, that my life is on social media. I can post about my life. But, like, don't be, like, trying to act all victim over here. Like, oh, what we did to her. Like... Okay, twins, do you care to explain yourself? Honestly, this situation is all I'm in, trying to move on from it, but I will defend myself. So, I woke up one morning to a tweet, Sabrina tweeted, she said that, you know, I guess, I don't, I don't know, her supporters were like accusing her at the time, and she said she was acting on the show. But you know what, there's two sides to the story. It's, if we can talk about this all day, and um, it's really not gonna get anywhere, um, the situation is old, but you know, all I want to say is I did not lie. Um, if you don't believe me, that's fine, but you know, I don't care at the end of the day. Well then, Julian, do you still have feelings for Sabrina? I mean, like, yeah, we had a thing during the show, but I feel like truly, truly, and I think she can agree with me on this, that it was not going to work out. Like, I feel like the show only showed like the good, perfect side of us, but off camera, there was like, a lot of like, it just wasn't really working that well, honestly, I don't know. Well, it wasn't just Julian having all the fun. Giovanni had a little fun himself this season. Take a look. Not the hot tub scene. Oh my goodness. This is my favorite part of the whole season. I dare you to make out with Jada for 10 seconds. The net oh, is right I'm under the water! 15! I like that, I like that. I said 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. I dare, I'll say 10. I had the timer, I'll count. Ready? Okay. Ready? Oh my god. god. I hate you, Owen. You're such a hypocrite, bro. Three, you don't even kiss Gabby. Two, one. One, two, three, four. Whoa. One. I'm really annoyed at Giovanni because he is literally like pecking me. Be a man and kiss me. Like, what is. Let me show you how to do it. And... Ah! Not true. Not true. <laughs> Jada. Giovanni. This is so hard for me to watch. Oh my goodness. Jada, on a scale of one to 10, rank Giovanni's kiss. Two. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I like how they only <laughs> asked her, not you. That's crazy. How would you rank her kiss? I think she passed that. I don't know, I don't know man. <laughs> After we kissed, right, it went straight to Jada giving her opinion and my opinion wasn't shown. And I was like, yo, I'm kind of mad because she's going up to everyone okay. saying the kiss was bad. And I was like, yo, you should be thankful. Like what? Like that's so messed up. I should be thankful. You should be no. thankful. Oh, you even got the chance, the first chance. of all. And second of all, like Owen said 10 seconds. You don't just like <laughs> sit there for 10 seconds. Like uh, nah, you should be thankful because I literally made that's you go weird. against Gabby to go in the hot tub with me, so. Ooh. Like I cared though. <laughs> <laughs>
This was one wild season. From the makeups to breakups to the hookups and everything in between. Comment down below which creators you'd like to see on season two of Awesomeness TV's Next Influencer. Wait, wait a second. Season what? two. You guys already know they're not gonna top us. A big thank you to everyone participating in the reunion. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to Awesomeness TV, and follow all of these lovely people on TikTok. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Bye.